Welcome back, friends. We're back with a new one today. It's called Definitely Not Fried Chicken. Uh, it was on sale in the Steam store. Uh, played the tutorial. A lot of fun. Interesting style of gameplay. So, where to start with this? This is our city center. We'll start with this. And scattered throughout the map is... I don't know how to explain this thing. So, like, we buy the billboard. We can buy these plots of land and more or less build businesses. But the businesses is not really where our money is going to be coming in from. It's going to be this town square where we set up our factory. And what are we doing with our factory? Well, we're going to sell some uh, elusive products. We'll, we'll go with that. So, uh... Yes, how do I start? Shows you how well I did with the tutorial. This is our factory. I want to buy a lot of land. And to be honest, I don't... Oh, here we go. I can pick my lots to purchase. I think I want to buy this one because it's on a road. And I want to buy the one next to it. All right, perfect. Now with roads... That's fine as is. We need at least one road connecting to our factory. Now let's get to building. Uh, I think, oh yeah, all we can start off with is the mopeds. So let's get a couple of these built. If I can just rotate my building so I can see what I'm actually doing. We're going to get a couple of these built. And... Now, it's time for the major part of our factory. So, what I realized during the tutorial, they had me building these little sub-buildings behind this, and bad guys attacked. Uh, <laughs> it did not work well. So, we're going to try something slightly different. Let's see if this works. I don't know if this... Oh, I don't like that. How do I... Oh, how did I get the walls to disappear? Oh, zoom in. That's not hard. So let's do all of a corridor here. And I guess one here. Yeah, that works. Now this is enclosed. Okay. Now we can do some of the stuff that what we're really trying to do here. Um, I guess basics. Let's, let's get the staff stuff situated. I'm not sure how big these need to be, but they do need some basic necessities. Um, let's go with a red sofa. Oh, should I go with a couch? Let's go with a couch. And we'll put a TV in. Oh, couch is too close. All right, can I move the couch? All right, we can move the couch. Put in a TV right here. Um, what else does a break room need? I guess... A vending machine? You know what? I could do this all... Hold on. Let me think about this. How do I rotate? Oh, here we go. Do that there. If I move the TV here. Couch. Like so. I can demolish that. And we can put a door in. Right there. Should I put a window in? Do they need a window? I'm not sure. We'll hold it off on the window. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. All right, so that's a break room. I'm good with that. Kitchen now. Let's build a little kitchen. Same size would be nice. Uh, if I can rotate this thing. Uh, let's see. Let's get a door in first this time. See where we're placing that. And then the necessities. Um, there's a shelf. A sink, a fridge, we'll do a garbage pail, like so, and I feel like a coffee machine is the way to do it. Oh, that, that messes up with that, hold on, can I move you to here? I can, alright, coffee machine here, and I could fit another table, like so with a microwave perfect now they got a kitchen that's a good kitchen i'll accept it uh what do we need next 
toilets. All right, so you're going to get a little toilet now. Let's build this. I think that's big enough. Uh, how big are these things? Pretty big. Um, I, do I need a shower? Uh, do, a, no, that's another shower. Blow dryer. Perfect. I guess that works. That will do. All right, so there's that. Now, oh, I guess I got to get a door inside. And then I guess I could do, uh, you know, what's our other room? A bedroom? Oh, no, we need a corridor. Let's do a corridor. Uh, let's build. Let's extend this. Something like that, maybe? I definitely need more land, but I can't afford it just yet. So, bedroom. We'll do something like that. Uh, let's go with red beds to match our red sofa. I think I do... That, you know what? Let's move them over one. So I think I only need the beds. And then I can put a door. Like so. And then can I get rid of this? I can. And that saves us money. And I can get rid of this too, I think. Alright. That looks good. And, oh, I need a storeroom. Alright, hold on. We're not done yet. Uh, I do need that corridor back. Uh, build, build, build. Here we go. That should be good. I say that with extreme hesitation. Um, Storeroom. We gotta build one now. Something like, let's say that. Now let's get a door down here. Now for storage... We gotta store the product we make. So I'm thinking it's a weird layout. How am I gonna do this? Guess the packing machine as soon as you walk in. And then we can do shelving. I think that should be good. That looks efficient. Oh, that's a really tiny room for the last section of goodies. Um, well, shoot. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go to our grow room. We're going to do the basic. Cause, all right. So with this game, there are three tiers of product uh, to say. I'm trying to, not to get demonetized, so I'm trying to choose my words wisely. I apologize if it sounds silly. Um, but yeah, so there's three different types of greenery. Uh, we'll go with that word, I guess. Um, and they all have different requirements. So, trying to think if I do it like that, and then I need, what is this? What is this? A drying? No, that's a drying palette. Oh, I don't have the other ones. Alright, so drying pallets, the only option. Uh, oof. I guess, yeah, I guess you can only go there. Um, I need a cutting table. It should be more called a trimming table, but whatever. Now, yeah, here it is. So I gotta put in lighting. How does this work? Can I put one in the middle? Oh, that made everything three-star. Okay, that worked out perfect. So our basic products here are three-star. I think we're good. And uh, how does this work? I can actually adjust that light to save money periodically. But I don't remember how to do that. I'll be honest. I don't remember. Uh, we'll figure that out at a later date. So this is our basic factory. I think it looks great. Uh, I need workers though now. So let's get some employees. We'll start with the basics. We'll get two workers, alternating shifts. We're going to have one engineer and one cleaner. And I should build guards, but we'll worry about that later. Oh, we're, we're playing. Hold on, let's pause this. 
Uh, reason I pause, things get damaged and you need engineers to fix them. So if you're not actually doing anything with it yet, you might as well pause it. Uh, looking for work. All right, how do I do this again? So you're just doing basic product and you're going to bring it to the vehicles. And should I give you a color? Yeah, green. Now schedule. I got to give you a schedule. Well, let's get you set up also. Um, green truck. All right, perfect. That's for the workers. Engineers are just engineers. Okay, cleaners. Can oh, actually, I'm not even clicking a button. Uh, all right, no adjustments. All right, so now we're just going to make schedules. So let's call this factory worker one. And we're going to have them very simply work half a day. Keep this as simple as possible. So let's get these all turned on. And I got to give them breaks. I'm thinking if they get on at midnight, they can have their first break at four. And their second break at nine. And then they're all, you know what? They only really need one break. Hold on. I changed that. Break at six. And then they're off the second half of the day. Perfect. Factory worker number two is going to do the opposite shift. And now I just got to get rid of this. Turn this on. And you'll get a break at 17, I guess. Yeah, that works. Oh, no. Stay. All right. So now... That looks good. No, I should have done 18. There it is. All right. First worker, second worker. We need one for engineer one. And you, we don't want to actually have you in much at all. We just need you to come in a couple hours a day. So between one, one and three in the morning, then you can go home for a little bit. And then we'll have you come back. Leave again. We'll do that. Should I do four hours? And then you can have off the rest of the time. All right. And that saves us some money. And then cleaners. I only have one cleaner for right now. So cleaner. Ooh, what do I want to do? I think I'll do... The first five hours, you can take off for a little bit, but then you're coming back in for a full shift. You can have that as a break, and then these two, you can go home. All right, that, that looks good. All right, let's get these people set up now. People, F1, you're going to F2. Engineers going to Engineer 1, and then Cleaners going to Cleaner. All right. So these guys, in theory, are all coming to work now. Let's see. Let's see if I did this right. We have n we're losing money <laughs> very quickly. Oh, I need a door into the the mopeds. I guess that's under corridor. Uh, put a door there. No, can I? Oh, door there. All right, doors there. We're good to go. Did I mess up? I don't know. What are you doing? Oh, hold on. Did I just get rid of a door? I did just get rid of a door. All right. Are they just off shift? What time? I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's 6-something. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's actually working. All right, that's fine. They're good as is. That is our factory, and we are good to go with that. I think. I think. I don't know. We'll find out. Next is, we got to purchase a lot of land. Um, Lobster's cool. 
So, more or less, we gotta figure out our fake building that we wanna set up right now. Um, I'm not sure what everything is. The tutorial had me making fried chicken. So, yeah, that's the thing. I don't think we can start with fried chicken, though. You know what? I think this lot's nice. We can either do a laundromat or a donut shop. Yeah, they want greenery. So we're going to go with them. I think a laundromat is probably the way to go. And I, oh, it's tight on cash, but I would like to upgrade it. Should I do it? Let's build. Yeah, select. Okay. So, top license purchased. Um, we're not there yet. Uh, can I buy? I'll figure it out. Uh, oh, we need employees built. All right, let's build. So, for this building, we need a spot for. Oh, we're low on cash. So, let's keep this around 2000. Let's. How do I. Upgrade business license. How do I do that again? Go to business license. Do I want to, No, I don't want to purchase that. I want to upgrade this. Yeah, this is upgraded fully. All right, we have a maxed out donut uh, laundromat now. Now I think I can build more. And we have a star. Perfect. So we are going to build our laundromat. Uh, doors. Let's start with the door. To get inside our facility. Boom. No, I don't like that. Can I move it over one? Alright, good. And then, I'd like to put another one there. Make it feel like a real laundromat. Um, let's see. Oh, so many fancy things. Alright, we'll do a set of three washing machines. A standalone big boy. And a fast one. And I'd like to fit this gumball machine right there. Perfect. Alright. And now... We need some dryers, on the other hand. So dryer, dryer. I, I feel like you always need more dryers than you do washers. So we'll do two of each down the road. Boom, all right, so now we got all the washers and dryers. And we have enough room to fit this nice little book rack down here. Oh, we're down to 10 grand. This is not looking good already. All right, so staff toilet or customer toilet. All right, let's do a customer toilet first. Three should be fine. We're going to put a door. Um, we need at least one toilet. Sink. And a dish, uh, hand dryer. All right, cool. That's done. Now, oh, are we gonna have enough people to man this place? All right, hold on. Uh, staff toilets are gonna be like this, three by three, like that. We're gonna do a door, like so. Same thing, we will put a toilet. Hand dryer and a sink. Very basic, but it is what it is. Okay. Hmm, all right, now for the rest of the facility. We need to think about, whoa, where did it, hold on, oh, there it is. I lost track of my things. Oh, I need a break room. Do I need a break room? All right, let's build a little storeroom first. Let's try to get this. We'll build a break room if we have to. We'll do that. All right, let's go back. Hold on. Let's get a little... We need to think about this. Hold on. So if you're going to go like this, 
We need a folding one. That's this one. And then a cash register, let's say here and here. Let's get a door like that and that. And then like that. No. Wait, hold on. No, that doesn't work. Hold on. This door has to move over one. And this door needs to go in here. And then a staff room. It's going to go like so, I guess. Something something like like this. Yeah, we're going to build it like that. We're going to put a little TV. Then we got a nice little sofa. And what else? Um, I guess we'll put in a cola machine and an arcade machine and a garbage pail. That's a good break room. That's good. They come out. They got the bathroom. They come in here. Inventory is going to come through back here somewhere. Okay. Now for our storage room, we really just need a couple of shelves. That looks perfect. Okay. Not for nothing. We got a cute little laundry mat. Let's see what else I can do real quick. Hold on. I feel like you need a bench. You need somewhere to sit while your laundry's getting done. Put one on each end cap like that, and that, and that. All right, cool. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I apologize. But, uh, yeah, it's a cute laundromat. It's very basic, but it gets the job done. Uh, we do need employees now. So we'll get one cleaner, and we're going to get them on the cleaner schedule. Get one engineer, he will be on the engineer, and then workers. We're gonna get two of them, but we gotta change the schedule, and it has to be laundry worker, not factory worker. So let's set up a new schedule and another new schedule. This is gonna be laundry worker one, and this is gonna be laundry worker number two. Now the ah, uh, they're from we're for open from 6 to 19. So they can go home for all of that and all of this. And I want to delete this. Hold on, delete. I had to hold it. Okay, delete that, duplicate that. All right, now we have two of those. Uh, first worker is on for four. You're on a break for four, but then you're going to work for four while you're on a break. And then you're going to work the rest of your shift and you'll get a break and then you can work the rest of your shift. Team effort. See now... Now I'm wondering, do I need someone specifically on break, on break? Hold on. Um, laundry worker one. And laundry worker number two. That's just for the register. And I need two more people. So I think I'm gonna, I hired two more and I'm going to do factory worker one, factory worker two, because they can work through the night, but their only goal is to unload the trucks that come to them. Factory worker one. Okay. I think that's good. Okay, now if I hit play, in theory, yeah, people are coming to work now. Look at us go. All right, I don't know if we're, oh, I got to open the business, I guess. All right, now it's open. Uh, let's 
schedule. I don't need room businesses. Cleaner all business hours. Okay, so I need to change to get more stars. Let's see. All products available. Marketing on billboards. All right, we don't have that. So employees. Cleaner. I need to make a new schedule. It's going to be laundry cleaner one lc1 laundry cleaner and you're gonna just be there unfortunately the whole time and you're gonna get a break around lunchtime and that's it you have a very long day ahead of you all right then people cleaners laundry cleaner one okay now All business hours. Why don't we have that? Laundry cleaner one. What is our six to nineteen? Oh, cause she gets a break. Is she not allowed to have a break? I guess not. Laundry cleaner one. Sorry, if I get rid of this right now, do I get my star? I do. That poor person is going to work straight. Okay, it is what it is. What is this? Factory expenses. Revenue zero, revenue 54. Or at least we're making money with our laundromat. Uh, oh, how does this work? All right, so we're not delivering any of this stuff yet. So we can just turn all this off. Okay. And you're going to go to laundry. Uh, but how do I set you up? What is this? What is it? I'm clicking on it. Oh, that's our laundromat. Okay, so you're going to go to here. Is that all I do? And like you are going to go to here. I don't even know what that is. And you can go there. I think, I think I'm doing that right. Don't hold me to it. Yeah, we're not even this far yet. Okay, keep moving. What is this? We don't have money for the tower. Our business licenses. We got the maxed out laundry. Okay, cool. Now, how do I... Oh, there's my factory. Oh, it's working. Oh, look at our little stuff go. Our happy little bonsai plants. Um, Day zero. I think we're doing pretty well. I think think we can justifiably speed this up yes now another thing we have to worry about security and I'm not necessarily sure what the best option is like what are you doing who are you Tom Thompson Robertson um, you're on break. Who are you? Let's go to my employees, people. What do I got? I need engineers. Now, things I've learned. Can I, how do I click on you? Follow. Oh, what is this? The major. Oh, no, you're dealing dope. Now, are you? I knew I was the right to fire you. I'm sending a few of my boys. <gasps> Ooh, cluck you up. See, now we need guards. Hold on. Hold on. Things got bad. Um, guards. <gasps> we can't hire them. Hold on. Things got real. Hold on. How do I... We need traps. Bye-bye. Couple traps. But now, this is this is where things get bad my employees how do I give them inventory here we go there is a way no shoot um shooty shooty shoot well people are gonna die yep so up oh, up oh, up oh, they're being up I don't even know who that is we lost a worker 
Oh, but our... Oh, oh, all right. Now, can I... Hold on. Let's, can I get rid of these traps now? <laughs> Before I lose any people? Bear trap. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, engineers, you. Um, I don't want you to do anything anymore because people are dying. Uh, can I... How do I do this? Say I click on this and I don't want it. See now, now I'm in, I'm, I'm in a predicament. I don't know how to get rid of this stuff. Move. Demolish? Alright, that works. We're just going to delete this whole hallway for right now. No, that really doesn't work. How do I actually get rid of this stuff? Uh, can I move it into my inventory? I could just move it here for now. And put a, an impassable wall. Demolish that for right now. Because I don't know actually how to fix my problem. Uh, you, no, don't, I want to, how do I get rid of this thing? I'm going to sell you. All right, cool. We sold it. I had too many anyway. All right, let's build a hallway back. All right, good to go, I guess. Uh, we got to figure out who just died though. What is this now? Astronaut Jack. Good day, sir. Would you be willing to trade us some of your herb? I want to get higher than I, that time I went to the moon. Okay. Um, hello, we are part of a classified government product. It is our need-to-know basis for science. Oh, that's cool. Um, I don't know how to take care of him. Oh, he's up here. Alright, hold on. Can I get... How do I get the... How, all right, hold on. You are delivering to something over there. We don't want that anymore. So, Oh, you're going to the scrapyard, but I want you to go to this guy now. So you're unloading. Okay. You, you were going to the factory, but I also want you to go to him. Right? Yeah, I think it's working. And the laundromat still gets laundromat stuff. Okay, good. Uh, back to figuring out my dead employees. Um, one engineer's good. We lost a cleaner. That's what it was. Okay, so we'll get a cleaner. You are going to be on cleaner one. Or cleaner. There we go. Perfect. Back to normal. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, where are we? Hold on. Factory. Back to our factory. Back to full speed also. Oh, I can pick what item they're bringing. Okay. Cleaner, you're doing your thing. You're cleaning the hallway. Can you clean these bodies up? That'd be great, thanks. Traps are locked over there because I don't know how to fix that. We'll come back to those. They did their purpose. What are you doing? I don't know. Our product's not really growing too fast. I think it's getting held up by this drying rack, maybe? Where are you running to? Are you hungry? Well, there's a snack. Hmm. I guess it's break time for him. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of pro We need more workers, but we need more land. Oh, he's taking a shower now, too. Oh, jeez. How's our laundry bat doing? No products and what... Oh, you need food? Oh, there's food right there. They're eating. Okay, good. I wonder if these places get raided. <coughs> I'm not too sure, to be honest. Uh, everything's... In... We're making money. We're currently making a pretty penny at the laundromat, but we are losing a lot of our factory. 
Why are we losing money at our factory? I feel like, you know, we, we got people working constantly. I do need more people overall. Which is funny, because this is a very small operation. Um, how's our deliveries going? How are you... Like, can I see... How do I look at this dude? You know what I mean? Like, how do I figure out what he needs, what he doesn't need? It has to be somewhere. Huh. Now, this is another thing, too. So, we can send products to the university, the gun shop, and the scrapyard. More or less, that gives us upgrades. It's our research tree. Uh... And we definitely need to do that. I've only sent them three things. I, I sent the scrapyard to some. Yeah, so we need to upgrade our vehicles. But they also give us... Yeah, some random upgradable items. Is that the generic for all of them? No, they're not. Armor. Is there, like, shoes? No. Which one has it? Is the clothing. Here we go. There's an item... Sneakers, 110, University. Keeps from my guys from setting off their own trap. So, like, how I just lost the cleaner to the bear trap? Yeah, we can prevent that. So, I, I definitely need to keep up on that. I really would like to know how much this guy really needs. I'm sending a lot of product to him. And I don't know what the benefit is. To be quite frank, I don't even know where he is on the map to, like, look at him. Uh, I guess it looks like a giant rocket ship, top right. I hope I'm going in the right direction. Pun intended. Alright, so that's like farmland. Just delivering to a mysterious astronaut that I can't even find on the map. There has to be a way to figure out where these people are. Right, if this is our facility, what do you think? They're going up and right? Like, if I go here, now, but what's up? Is this up? Up and left, I should say? I see no rocket ships. There's a lot of freaking territory. I don't know if I can buy all this, though. Definitely cool to look around. Wow, this map's pretty big. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily know how to look for him. Oh, I could do like wall dynamic, and I want walls down. Can I do that? How do I do that? Hold on, let's go to the business. Now let's say, yeah, walls down. All right, cool. All right, area effects, machine health. Oh, okay, that's how. That's what for the engineers. Okay. Cool. I made a thousand bucks. We're still very broke, though. Um, my biggest holdup is just if this guy's satisfied or not. Um, I don't know how to tell, and it kills me that I don't know this. Hmm. All right, that is what it is. We'll just never know. He he might stop getting deliveries real soon because uh, he's not giving me much information on where he is and what he needs. I need to buy more land, but I can't do anything until I get more cash. Buying more lands means more workers. How much would it be to buy more land? Like, say I wanted it's 11,000. Oh, that's crazy numbers. Okay. Is there anything I could do to make more money? Probably not.
Hmm. What to do, what to do. I don't like games that make you wait like this. What is this notification? Oh, desperate for fun. It sounds like a personal problem. Uh, auto save. We're going to go for like 20 minutes because I hate the thing popping up on my screen every couple minutes. Anything? Wait, what is this? Hold on. Dispatch map tab. Oh, that's that. Hold on, go back. I want to go back to that. What else? Spin camera. None of these are useful. Credits don't care. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. We have to wait for money. This is awful. Okay. On that note, guys, I think this is a successful first step at our empire. Well, soon to be empire. Right now, we got a lot of guys in wife beaters uh, just walking around. And this guy looks like he should be working at a chicken place. He at least looks like a janitor. He's got like the janitor, like blue button up attire. These guys, on the other hand, they, they ain't looking for, they, you know, not savory characters, let's say the least. And this guy, he, something's going on. <laughs> but on that note, guys, everyone have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.